Hey everyone, I'm gonna try to switch this around. Going live at lunch. There we go. So, hello everyone. I am here. We are gonna do this together, by the way, and figure out the best way to report on this. It is cold together as a community. So let's call uh, week one of the Lori Vallow Daybell trial uh, a test run. If I'm gonna need to get a mic for my phone or a laptop because everyone's getting car sick, or not a laptop, a tripod, or what you guys wanna hear. So here's, here's the latest though. Day one is jury selection, which is actually going fairly fast. I thought jury selection might last. It is so cold for people asking. In fact, oh my gosh. I thought jury selection was gonna last um, maybe the week, but they're already down to like nine jurors left. So I don't know exactly how long it's going to last, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if jury selection concludes in the next couple of days or today we'll we'll see but it's it's really unknown it's unknown so behind me is the courthouse um what today has uh kind of taken place so far is it started it, it started late i got here i thought i was late i rushed in you know they said everyone needs to be in their seats um by 7 45 or else you lose your seat and i got in right at 7 45 and uh, no one could get in. There was a huge line and uh, But I noticed, you know, some reporters were in that I recognized and yet they were saying you know, jurors only No one else can come in. So it was a little confusing and a little stressful uh, they, they let us all in and then court didn't Start for like another hour and a half um, When it did start so where they took us so the courtroom is completely closed this week for jury selection So no one sitting in the courtroom no public you don't even um, ask for it. It's completely close to the public and, and viewers. So the only option is the remote viewing room in the courthouse. And uh, the that's, you know, you walk in, you go through security and it's quite large. It's a, it's a large courtroom with like an overhead, a overflow open as well. And uh, a lot of seats like lined up, cushioned, cushioned like fold up chairs, but they're, they're nicer than fold up chairs and then a projector, a very large projector coming down from the ceiling, which sounded great because uh, I'm like, oh good, this is gonna be easy to see. You can kind of sit anywhere. I chose to sit against a wall towards the front uh, where I could plug in like uh, my laptop. Um, but then when, the, when it finally started, I realized I maybe wasn't in the best place because the projector has three camera um, angles on it at once so it shows three different views of the courtroom which is great but uh, when you put three different views on the projector everything gets a lot smaller and they're wide shots meaning none of them are close up I mean it's not what we had before when it's true when media was zooming in on Lori Daybell's face um, it, it's not like that it's uh, very wide far shots so halfway through during a break between everything i i went over and i sat a lot closer to the projector right next to leah satilli uh the author of when the moon turns red and we talked also um to be noted prior came in right before it started too and he sat in some reserved seating and turned around and started talking to uh, nate eaton and justin lum who were there and um you know that was it was interesting because you could kind of overhear him talking a little bit and hear what they were talking about. Um, I spoke to Pryor for a bit as well. We talked. I'm walking back up the steps because I think I might need to be going in soon. Um, like I said, today's kind of, um, today's ebb and flowing. We're learning. It's a learning process with you guys, how we're going to do this. And I, I think that lunch is only going to be a half hour. So I've got to head back in there. But uh, so a lot of what happened during this too by the way is in uh is on twitter i am live tweeting uh twitter.com slash hidden to crime i know not everyone's on there but that's what i'm doing and then what i'm thinking we're gonna do is go live each day uh during lunch on the phone so like i said if i'm gonna need a microphone or uh, you know we need to fix something we'll do it um 
what else? You know, Judge Boyce did call her Miss Vallow. I tweeted that at first. You know, Miss Vallow has has pleaded not guilty, and that was interesting. And I noted that, and a lot of you noted that I noted that. I did notice though that Rachel Smith did call her Lori Vallow Daybell. So I don't know if it was a slip up or what, but I'll be we'll all we'll be listening to how they say her last name. Um, mostly just jury questions. Uh, I've been able to connect with some old co-workers of mine here in Boise. That's been nice. I was able to talk to Nate and Justin. Um, like I said, I was able to catch up with Leah. A lot of people I haven't caught up with yet. I think we're all, you know, we're all learning this together. Um, yeah, so I should be on News Nation tonight with Brian Enton. So uh, that'll be on Banfield uh, in front of the courthouse today. So you can watch us tonight and like I said I'm going to continue live tweeting I'm closer to the projector now um and Lori is her hair is curled she looks nice as far as I can tell she's sitting between her counsel there was a sketch that Nate Eaton released and I retweeted it um she's sitting between her counsel next to Jim Archibald she's wearing black her hair is down it's not up in a clip or anything it's just straight down it's curly she has glasses on and uh, the defense and the state are both taking their turns. First it was the prosecution, now it's the defense taking their turns asking potential jurors questions um, about uh, if they will be able to uh, do this, you know, be able to um, be able to be a fair juror. It was interesting, some of the jurors truly did not know about this case until last week when they started jury selection. And my hands are falling off. Boise is really, really, really cold. And I've lived here. This is unusually cold for April. And uh, I'm gonna need to bring gloves if it stays this cold. I just saw it's snowing. It's officially snowing. So even if, even if lunch is lasting another 20 minutes, and I know you guys probably want to know more i think i might go in because it is just so cold and video is not allowed in the actual courthouse behind me so i just simply can't um keep talking i don't think it's typically gonna be this cold because we did get in yesterday and it wasn't this cold um it's mostly reporters today i'm seeing what people are asking yep it's snowing mostly reporters today in the in the and when i say courtroom i apologize i mean the the overflow or the remote viewing area because the courtroom's closed but mostly reporters today i haven't seen any family uh makes sense again it's jury duty and i'll be sharing more follow along with twitter uh twitter.com slash hidden true crime go catch up there and I'm gonna go make sure that I'm on time and where I need to be for all of this. And yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to eat too. I, I left before breakfast and I don't think I'm getting lunch because but I think by the end of this together, we'll have this figured out, right? We'll have this figured out and we'll get a system going. But this is my plan right now. So right now the plan is, unless things change, I live tweet during the days, we go live at lunch, and uh, maybe uh, a further update in the evening. And I also might be reporting with News Nation. So check out that as well, and I'll keep you updated on the latest. And I have not seen a ruling on Larry and Kay yet, which is interesting, because I actually thought that was gonna be the first thing that happened. And, um, and I'm sorry for any other questions I missed, but like I said, we'll, we'll keep doing this. We're in this together. And uh, we hope to, to stream some audio as well, A Hidden True Crime. So stick with us and thanks guys. Um, I'll see you guys soon again, all right? I'll see you. And no, Larry and Kay are not here yet for the last question. Yeah, no pictures in the, inside um, at all, no video, but they are letting laptops in and live tweeting, so. All right, yes, we'll have the, we'll have the audio the day after for everyone as well. So stick around for that too. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. Okay. We'll see you guys. Bye.